everybody. So today we're going to have a review of 1923 Kolsch Ale from Millstream Brewing Company, right? Millstream, yeah, Millstream Brewing, sorry. Uh, supposedly on Untapped, this is just called uh, 1923. Um, that's all they have, but they said it, say it's a Kolsch, then on the bottle it does say Kolsch Ale. Uh, this was part of the one, or one of the ones I got from the original Craft Beer Club. Uh, it's a monthly box. 4.8% uh, ABV by volume. Um, I don't want to read anything else. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and get it into a glass. This is the second one I've had from Millstream. The other one was kind of a lager, lager wheat mix. So it almost makes me think that they do lighter beers. Um, I don't want to look them up because I don't want to see what I'm getting myself into until afterwards. But from the original Craft Beer Club sending that, which I think they called an American Pale Wheat, and then this Kolsch, um, I don't know why they would send beers like this, but hey, whatever. Um, very white head. Definitely, I've had three other beers today, and this is white compared to all of those. So I'm going to say white. Small, medium bubbles, mainly small. About a half a finger of head. Bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. Um, yellowish. Watered down yellowish. You guys are seeing more of a golden color than I am. I'm seeing definitely more yellow, almost clear, a little hazy, more than chill haze. Sorry, I had the thing stuck to me. Yeah, good color, lots of bubbles coming up. Let's go ahead and smell. Floral? Nah. Malt, cracker, clean, crisp, almost lagerish. Yeast? Little yeasty, clean. That's a, I almost want to keep floral in there. I don't. Is it the glass? That smells more yeasty. I I have to keep floral in there. I'm getting it, but <laughs> I, I don't know. It has to be. F like, I get like a yeasty, but right on top of that uh, floral, but I don't get it out of here. I get more of that like yeasty, clean Kolsch. I don't get the same smell out of both of these. Yeah. I mean, it smells like a Kolsch, but I don't know where that floral is coming from. Let's go ahead and taste. Very light body. I almost want to say fruit. Light cracker, yeast, bready with a touch of fruit. A little dry on the back. Yeah, that, that's about it. <laughs> I'm like, I, like, this could be the quick review. I might not even do a quick review. It, like, plain Jane, Kolsch with a little bit of fruit, 3.5, in my mind, I don't know what more to say, we're going to check on tap. One of my friends has checked it in 3.25, 286 people have checked it in 3.49, so I'm right in line with them. Um, 
light sweet bread aromatic coriander. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, okay, well, yes, coriander in the smell. That's what that is. Okay, I will give them that. I'm still going 3.5, because you really don't get that in the taste, at least I don't. Yeah. That'll work. Let's, yeah, nobody said anything. Same person. Matthew's had it twice. Kalamazoo. Oh, he had it at the Kalamazoo Beer Festival. 2016? I don't understand that. Oh, that's a glass, duh. Yeah. Don't, yeah. Yeah, I would say 3.5. It's okay. Um, nothing I would drink again. Usually, I do stay away from Kolsch's. I'd rather have something with a little bit of flavor. But that's just me. If this is a beer for you, uh, if it sounds like it, yes, there is coriander in it. Um, I would definitely pick this one up if you can find it. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.